um, 20 pages, uh, double-sided color. Just um, like, what would that run each? Do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, like a lot. A lot. But I just, yeah. Uh, well, like if it's a hundred. Like a hundred. Yeah. For a hundred copies of that, that'd be five hundred. Oh, see me snicker. Five hundred bucks? <laughs> really? Okay. So I'm gonna see what my options are, but thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that sucked. Getting this done tonight. <laughs> to God, it is impossible to find a nice isolated room with a conference table on this fucking campus. I gotta get this done tonight and I guess I have to make the table of contents and the foreword and everything and then uh, the cover and that's coming along. I'm gonna close these windows because if a freaking like a huge gust of wind comes in here I'm going to lose my marbles. Glue, 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 glue. I've been thinking a lot about uh, more scenes that I want to do in the future. I was thinking today I want to make one telling the uh, the whole story of when I was stalked in a sophomore year, and that's going to be really cool because I actually saved scans of all of the old like creepy letters and shit I was getting. That was a that was an experience and a half. Keep an eye out for that it's dropping sometime in the near future. Got to go fast with glue sticks. Oh, it is currently the Monday night before uh, the. Thursday that is going to be the LAS, so I've got only like two or three days to get these things printed out But it's coming together. All right, finally done. I got it all. You didn't see it. I just skipped through it I don't have much to talk about tonight, but got the final thing pretty thick it's A lot of a lot of good stuff a lot of nice things in here, and uh, it's really brittle Everything's flaking off right now because uh, glue sticks, but um, now comes the uh, administrative parts I gotta make a cover, back cover for it. I wanted to write a forward um, with like a disclaimer, an afterward um, about like, am I gonna keep doing this at all? Like, how does this work? Like, what other things go on at the radio station? Um, and then table of contents. And then I think I should include people's uh, names beside um, all of their stuff. And I printed out like at some point a while ago a. Uh, a bunch of those names and stuff as just little labels that I could put on things, but I think I'm just gonna write them in. I'm just gonna put my handwriting right on there. And uh, I still have, if I recall correctly, a blank page at the end of the DJ section. Yeah. This one last page right here. I'm gonna put uh, something in there. Something of myself. Some of my own contribution to it. And it's way past the uh, deadline for contributions, so I guess I'm uh, a hypocrite. This is my favorite part. Gotta love that Broadway font. all starting to come together. That looks really off-centered. It's there's still too much margins on here. I found uh, the waffle, the first page of the waffle. It was uh, right here, right behind the Millennium Falcon. So now we have an extra first page of the waffle just hanging around because then the waffle continues and finally ends there. So what I'm going to do, because uh, in the process of making this, I have uh, decided to preserve and immortalize all of my mistakes. I'm not going to uh, correct anything. I'm just going to just gonna put a blanket over it. I'm just going to cover that up. Uh, I am huffing these marker fumes. There. Now everyone will know that I screwed up. I know I've talked about it before, but that's really what I absolutely super love about the uh, zine-making process, that it gives you a, uh, a really good reason for 
any mistakes that you ever make. You can be so bad at this, but you know what? That's part of it, because that is you being bad through it. So aside from uh, writing everybody's names next to their pieces in the actual zine itself and uh, putting in the table of contents, which I can't seem to find all of a sudden, I think it's pretty much, pretty much done. Ready to go to print, as it were. It's been great, but I'm ready to be done with this. Oh boy. Moment of truth. So I'm really concerned about um, how the stuff that I scanned initially in color is going to degrade even further. You can see, like, every time you copy it, it's a little bit worse. I think it's going to destroy the uh, more difficult to see pieces. It's exactly the sort of reason I ought to be doing something like this in Adobe InDesign. Is it because doing it all physically, I'm getting a lot of image degradation. It needs to be bound somehow or another. I'm wondering if. Uh, if the spine of this, like right here, is solid enough that I could do uh, something I saw from one of the uh, paper airplane uh, zines where you just rubber band it. Otherwise, I gotta find a really long stapler. So I'm about to be a huge asshole right now and occupy the color copier for about half an hour. Here we go. Staple Look at these unsafe staples. These staples are so huge they like come out the other end fully formed. I could clinch them down now. This is such a catastrophe. Hey viewers, this is JDocs, uh, recording about a year after the actual filming and making of the zine. This was about the end of all the footage I took, but I got some pictures. I made about, I think, 37 copies of the final zine, and more or less snuck into the Liberal Arts Symposium. I found myself a table and just sort of set it up with not only my own zines, but some other zines that I had been uh, collecting to sort of have props to talk to people about uh, what zine culture is and like what sort of stuff can be done with zines, as well as you know, exhibit uh, this own work, Living Media. I only actually sold uh, maybe two or three, but that wasn't really the point. This was like a big academic exercise in making zines and learning about uh, the process of it and the culture behind it. In the following months, I tried to mail some of these zines uh, to some of our contributors at uh, SCI Huntington and Smithfield, but no matter what I did, they kept getting sent back, so I feel bad that these dudes never uh, actually got uh, their work in the zine. I'm still trying to figure that out. In the year since, as you saw earlier in the video, I have been working on some more zines, including the one about uh, my stalking experience, as well as uh, some short comics that I'm currently, you know, producing in Philadelphia, where I live now, and giving them to uh, some local comic shops and getting involved with uh, the local zine and comic scene. And so this whole endeavor really sparked, like, my biggest passion right now that I'm still rolling with. And it's been a great experience revisiting uh, my experience uh, creating living media and uh, the trials and tribulations that came with that. I had a great time working on it uh, on this video and uh, working at the WKVR station. And there will be a link in the description where uh, you can download the PDF of living media and, you know, read it and see all the art for yourself. Oh, and hey, if you want a physical copy, I've got tons of them. <laughs> I'll also link to uh, the stuff I'm working on right now and my, you know, current uh, social media presence. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for reading, if you do. Have a good one. Stay zini, or I don't fucking know. That was bad.